a lot of players in baseball, Major League Baseball, have a certain visual advantage over the rest of us. Tell us about that. That's right. So the average visual acuity of a Major League Baseball hitter is about 2012, which means they can see from 20 feet away what you or I would probably have to stand at 12 feet away to see. And you found, uh, tell, tell us the percentages. Of, was it the Los Angeles Dodgers that was studied? The, the Dodgers, their average visual acuity for hitters was 2011 in one eye and 2012 um, in another. What does that enable you to, do, to see when a ball is coming to you quickly or off pace that others can't see? So the, the humans don't have a visual system that is capable of tracking a ball moving at 100 miles per hour when it's that close to you. Right, so this advice to keep your eye on the ball is, is rubbish, basically. So you, pause, you can't do it. Pause right there. So, so all those times I've said to my kids, and I've heard coaches say to my kids, keep your eye on the ball, not good advice? No, it's a fine thing to tell them because it will actually keep them focused on the pitcher and what they're actually picking up are cues from his shoulder. But they might as well close their eyes once the ball's halfway in because the total transit time of the ball is 400 milliseconds, two-fifths of a second. The minimum human reaction time, whether you're a doctor, lawyer, or Albert Pujols, is 200 milliseconds. So they have to know where they're swinging when the ball is just out of the pitcher's hand. I scored better on a visual reaction speed test than Albert Pujols did. And he's the best hitter of a generation. But he only scored in the 66th percentile compared have, to a group of college students. That must have pissed him off. <laughs> well, I don't think he knew about my test. But, but it slows down because they don't have to attempt to react with superhuman speed. That again has to do to some degree with the situational awareness because you just told me they're going to be, they're may, even unconsciously, I would imagine. Absolutely. They're not examining if, if, the shoulder. If you tell them where to look, they do worse. It's completely an unconscious process. Okay, so then it takes a lot of practice. And yes. this gets to, it's again, entirely learned that. This is, that's learned. So that's not genetic. But then ha that's learned. These anticipatory cues that you have to pick up to hit a ball moving that speed are totally learned. But once you've learned them, I compare it to hardware and software in the book. Once you've downloaded that software for the sport, the better your hardware is, the better your genetics are, the better you're going to do. So once you get those anticipatory cues, having 2010 vision allows you to pick them up when the ball's still a lot closer to the pitcher and farther from you than if you had 2020 vision.